Thanks for logging on to WCBI.com. I'm meteorologist Jacob Dickey. Clouds will move in tonight from west to east as they do so. Help our temperatures to stay in the mid to upper 40s. Where the clouds move in earlier, we stay a little bit warmer. It's like a blanket, 48 in Grenada and Pontotoc, a little cooler to the east. 44 in Vernon and Columbus. You'll find yourself somewhere in the middle if you're in between those areas overnight tonight. For our Monday then, things are starting off with some showers in the morning. Better chance for rain in the area. Looks like in the lunchtime. Still some scattered showers in the afternoon as winds shift from the south to the north and a cold front pushes on through. Still though, upper 50s and low 60s for many of us where we get the sunshine earlier and lasting longer like Columbus 61, West Point 60, Macon 63. That will help us to uh, be a little bit warmer than if the clouds moved early for places like Grenada, Winona, and Carrollton at 56. They could see some morning showers also. West Alabama, low 60s, 61 in Vernon, 60 in Solingen, and then up in Tupelo, I've got upper 50s, 57 in Water Valley, 58 Houston, Tupelo at 59, we'll get to 57 in Tishomingo County, and Monroe County will also get to 59 on our Monday afternoon. Here's future cast showing a few isolated showers and clouds moving in from west to east. By 6 a.m., I think we'll see some scattered showers, very light though, maybe sprinkles to light showers along the I-55 corridor, so folks from Ripley towards Myrtle, perhaps Oxford, into Coffeeville and Water Valley, Grenada, even over towards the Delta, could see a few of these spot showers, and seeing some clouds push on in. By 1 p.m., the showers will be moving off to the east and west Alabama and the Golden Triangle, best chance for that, drying off back to the north and to the west. And then by 3 p.m., still seeing some rain. Looks like that in the afternoon will be south of US 82. We will all be dry by Monday night with light north winds helping to bring in some cooler air, but still lots of sunshine on Tuesday. I think those temperatures will still stay into the upper 50s. As far as how much rain we expect, not a whole lot in our area through Thanksgiving. Maybe a tenth, if not more. You'll have to get some of those showers in if you want that. I just don't think we're going to see much, really. Many of us probably will end up dry by the time it's all said and done. Staying dry Tuesday, Wednesday, even into Thursday. High pressure is taking control. That's going to allow for a very nice Thanksgiving. Staying dry, seasonal. We should be in the low 60s this time of year. That's when we'll be right on par, seeing those low 60s and nice weather. The rain will hold off till Friday. If you're getting up early for Black Friday forecast, uh, for Black Friday shopping, that is. Partly cloudy, nice and cool temperatures in the 40s. Only in the 50s by the middle of the day. Some scattered showers move in if you're getting a nap or need some coffee from getting up too early. High school football, if we got some games that night, looking a bit wet and a bit chilly as rain moves in. I think rain will be best chance Friday afternoon, evening into the overnight hours. Maybe a chance for some showers will remain as we head to Saturday. But it seems like that window is going to be Friday afternoon through Saturday morning to get some better chances of rain. And uh, overall, very dry pattern. Things aren't looking too bad out there. We are doing right about what we should be this time of year.